guys, this is Dan Booknook Noggin, and let's talk about Batman Failsafe by Chip Zdarsky. Um, this is going to be a rarity for me because I don't, I try not to do those kind of negative book reviews. But I read this, um, like, oh, like I have been doing lately. I went into this blindly. I didn't really, wasn't really aware of what the story was about. I just know that I have read Chip Zdarsky's writings before. I really liked his take on Spider-Man. Um, I've read some some good Batman books in the past, so I know I I, I thought I was going to be getting into something rather good, to be honest with you, and. Uh, Let's get into it. But this collects single issues, uh, Batman numbers one through numbers one twenty five to one thirty, and uh, yeah. So apparently, um, I was aware that Batman has his he's got like a, his takeout plans. I guess you could say. Like, he has a plan to take out every member of the Justice League, especially Superman. But he also had a plan to take out himself if Batman thought that he ever crossed the line and killed somebody. And in this story, he supposedly kills the Penguin, and I'm going to say that, and I'm trying not to spoil it, but yeah, this book was not that great, guys. It was not that great. Um, so Batman has, you know, he has this protocol, apparently he has a multiple backup personality, yeah, you heard that, I, I said that, I can't believe I'm fucking saying that, but, where he has an alternate costume and everything, and guys, the costume was just flat out ridiculous, um, it's this yellow golden fucking costume, golden red, golden yellow, red, purple, that just looked super ridiculous, and he had this really weird name for this alternate personality that was supposed to be the, the ultimate, it was the Batman without Bruce Wayne. It made no fucking sense, let's just say that, it just made no fucking sense. But anyway, so Failsafe was created by Batman to take out Batman in the event that Batman got out of hand uh, by murdering somebody or by killing somebody. So this program was into implemented and this Failsafe, this robot, who knows everything about Batman, knows everything about the Justice League, knows how to take everybody out. Yeah, look at this ridiculous Batman costume. And with the, like, wrestler boots that are, like, laced all the way up to the knees. And just, it just so ridiculous. If the costume alone wasn't ridiculous enough, the writing in this whole story was absolutely shit. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I, I, the only reason I pushed on through this was because, you know what, I couldn't believe that I was reading such a horrible Batman story. Um, but believe it or not, I think the average rating for this on Goodreads is like a 3.80-something, so it's close to a 4-star rating on Goodreads, which I was flabbergasted at that, too, because I, I found this story to be horrendous. I mean, it does. It has action and adventure, and yeah, it, it was fun seeing Batman and some members of the Justice League trying to take out this robot called Failsafe, but... At the end of the day, this was a horrible story. I just didn't care for it. And we find out that, you know, the Penguin has all these children, apparently. All these women wanted to sleep with the Penguin, which is something else I found hard to believe. Just saying. But, <laughs> yeah, guys, this was beyond ridiculous. And then, like, in the end, like, like... <laughs> they tried to explain the origin of... Batman creating this this costume and the, the backup program of Failsafe. It was so bad, guys. I gave this a 2 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. I'm not going to talk about it too much longer. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet just because 
I, I feel like I don't usually do negative reviews, so I don't want to rag on it too much. Um, I do like Chip Zdarsky's writings. I have read some stuff that I've really enjoyed from him, so I was absolutely shocked when I read this one. Because I was like, what the fuck happened with this? Like, why? Why? What is going on with this? And it's a volume one. So apparently there's like, they're concluding this story. I thought this would have been the end of I, I don't even want to know. I don't. But yeah, I'm going to throw a link down below if you absolutely want to check this out for yourselves. Um, I'm also going to throw down a link for my coffee. You know, if you want to donate some money to my channel, help support my channel as I'm not receiving AdSense. Even though I have over a thousand subscribers, I still need watch time. So if you guys want to go check out some of my older videos, that helps me out. And, you know, if you want to look, if you came here looking for book you know, comic book recommendations and reviews, by all means, hit that subscriber button and hit that notification bell. That's all I'm really going to say for now. I want to keep this short and sweet. So, yeah, check it out if you want. But, like, I, I, I just don't understand why it has almost a four-star rating on Goodreads because I hated it. Or I just didn't like it. I gave it a two-star rating, two out of five. I really regret reading this and, like, want to use eye bleach because that costume is horrible. It's horrendous. Whoever thought that was a good idea, I just I don't know. Till next time, guys. Later.